The episode begins with Julia warning the homeless to flee as drones, and the military chase after them with guns. Julia and two homeless people a father-son duo hide behind a wall. Unfortunately, they are soon caught by the soldiers. The son tries to run away but he is mercilessly shot dead. Devastated, the father walks towards his now slain son, but he is also killed in the process. Just when the military is ready to put down Julia as well, Hugo turns up and tells them she is his wife and works for the health minister. They are new to the city so she must have lost her way home. Hearing his words, the officers tell them both to be more careful next time. As they walk back home, Julia doesn't seem to figure out why Carlos didn't show up as planned. Sadly, Hugo breaks the news that Carlos was shot by the police officers for the murder of Major Merida. Julia breaks down completely and Hugo comforts her in his arms. Once they reach Emilia's place, they hear the news reporting and calling Carlos a terrorist. Julia hugs her mother and sobs just when Block Chief Begona knocks on the door. The informant asks where Julia is and suggests that she turn herself in. The following morning, Julia tells Hugo that she doesn't think this will work and that she will keep putting them in danger. Hugo responds that they will continue working until they get Marta back. The pair then head to work in Sector 1, in the medical facility where Marta and other children are kept. The doctors and nurses are alerted that a child named Felipe is not waking up as they hand out injections. It is revealed that Felipe was given higher doses of what the doctors were testing, and now the child is seemingly dead. In the meantime, Hugo and Sarah serve the health minister Louis and Alma. Louis asks for Hugo's help as he recognizes that he's an engineer. Ivan joins the table and begins cursing the terrorist Carlos, which disturbs Julia. Enraged, she pours Ivan a hot drink while pretending it to be an accident. She is almost fired but Alma decides to give her a chance since Sergio, Alma's nephew, and Godson has bonded with Julia. The next scene reveals that Carlos is actually alive, but being tormented by the military. They continuously grill him about his girlfriend Julia's location. The following day, Alex asks the woman who handles the paperwork to help with his niece. Much to his annoyance, he is told to expect a letter from the government then only. He will reunite with Marta. Daniela, the minister's daughter who happens to be a lawyer, sees him causing a scene so she attempts to help him with her expertise. Sadly, she too cannot go above the rules of the government. Alex is frustrated and tells Daniela to leave him alone as she is just another rich kid who wouldn't understand his situation. Right then, the cute nurse from earlier asks him to follow her. They arrive at the rooftop and smoke a cigarette together. The nurse tells him that he needs to calm down and that his niece is in good hands. She then hands him a flyer that says join us and asks him to meet her at a certain location later. Back at the minister's place, Louis shows Hugo his vintage car and asks if he can fix it. Louis will surely return the favor if Hugo can get the car to work as the vehicle was gifted to him by his beloved father. In response, Hugo says he will see what he can do. In the facility, Alma receives some results and she looks very excited. Apparently, they have discovered that the children's blood is indeed special and the finding might be a breakthrough in the medical history. The doctor Thomas warns her that it's still dangerous, but she wants to proceed. He then shows her the children he considers to be special. Alma talks about saving millions before going to hug the children. She also tells them a story about how children can save many lives. As she concludes her story, the youngsters all fall asleep, leaving their yogurts unfinished. They had obviously been laced with something. The nurses then begin to draw their blood. Meanwhile, Julia walks through a park with Sergio, Alma's nephew. Sergio asks if he can look around the area. Julia agrees and sits alone as she is still grieving her loss. However, she soon realizes she has lost Sergio so she frantically starts shouting his name. Thankfully, Sergio is just playing a trick as he greets her from behind. He then gives her a necklace he found in a trash bin nearby. Julia is clearly shocked as the necklace belongs to Marta. Upon digging the bin even more, she sees clothes stained with blood. Sergio then points out that the trash bin comes from a facility nearby. Later, Julia shows Hugo the clothes and the necklace of Marta. She explains that Alma is the director of the facility Marta is in. In the meantime, Alex meets the nurse in her flat. He is taken aback as she is dressed seductively. She begins to play music and dance. The couple soon starts to make out. But it is short-lived when suddenly the nurse takes out a gun and points it at him. It is revealed that she is a government informant, and that she was ordered to do so. At the same time, there is an unexpected knock on the door. Emilia, having found the paper the nurse had given Alex the other day, has come to bring him home because she certainly sniffs foul play. Emilia asks him to go but the nurse pulls out her gun, ready to shoot both of them. Much to her surprise, Emilia has come prepared so she quickly pulls out her own gun and shoots the nurse dead. She then tells Alex to mess up the room to stage the nurse's death. Emilia grabs the informant's diary and shoves it inside her clothes before leaving. 
Meanwhile, Hugo drives the car that he's fixed as Julia shows him the building his daughter is in. They both enter the facility and snoop around. The couple soon enters what seems like a morgue and sees a dead body on a table. Hugo takes off the cover to see who the dead body is. Thankfully, it's not Marta, but her friend Felipe, who was overdosed on mysterious substances. Hugo then inspects all the body fridges, which consist of several dead children and none of them is Marta. Julia and Hugo continue walking through the facility, evading the security forces. They stop by when they hear children singing. They finally spot Marta and after the nurses are gone, Hugo whispers her name. She gets up to greet her father, who assures her that he will bring her home soon. Suddenly, security forces are heading towards them so Julia and Hugo run away from there. In the meantime, Amelia gives Alex an address to visit and a code to get in and hands him the informant's diary as well. She tells him not to mention her name. Next, Alex visits the address where he meets a young woman and her handicapped father. He shows them the diary that consists of people's names who are in danger. Since Alex insists on not telling who sent him, they knock him out, clearly believing that he could just be another informant. Elsewhere, Julia and Hugo rush to Lewis's place, and they demand to talk to the minister. Hugo talks to Lewis about the facility, and demands that they free his daughter. When he goes out of control, the security forces repress him. Julia then describes to Lewis how they got into the facility, and explains what they saw. Alma rushes off as Julia mentions children, and a mortuary. Since Emilia, Julia's mother, is an old friend of Lewis, he promises to resolve the situation. In the next scene, Hugo, Julia, and Lewis drive off to the facility while Alma makes a phone call, directing them to initiate the eviction procedure. Arriving at the facility, Hugo shows Lewis what they saw. However, when they get to the room it is empty. Outside, Hugo hears the children getting escorted so he runs. He enters a van and asks for Marta, but sadly, she is not there. Meanwhile, Lewis sees the children in the van and he looks shocked. In another van, the children are gassed and one of them is Marta. Elsewhere, Alex is tied up as water is thrown over him to wake him up. The young woman Rosa and her father continue to chide him to give the name of the person who sent him here. Alex explains he just arrived in Madrid three days ago, and that he met a pretty nurse who ended up tricking him. Still believing that he works for the government, Rosa threatens to kill him but then surprisingly, Daniela, who was in the main room comes to solve the commotion. Although being the minister's daughter, it turns out that Daniela is actually secretly helping the poor by sneaking into Sector 2. Daniela, who had helped Alex the other day, speaks on his behalf so Rosa lets him go. After speaking with Alma, the major of the security bureau meets Lewis. It is revealed that the major has an affair with Alma. The minister tells him that finding Marta is a top priority, and that he wants to be kept updated every step of the way. Next, the major visits Alma's doctor, Thomas, who describes how Alma gave him orders to test children who exhibited antibodies to the virus. He then gives the major the test reports, saying that every piece of evidence of the experimentation is on those files. That evening, Lewis gives Julia and Hugo a ride home in his car. He talks about how it's been a while since he's been in the city, and he cannot tell if it's changed much. Soon, they arrive at Amelia's place and Julia walks off. Lewis asks her to say hello to her mother, but he gets to meet her in person as Amelia invites him for dinner. Soon after, the police ask Julia to come to the station to talk about her sister. Julia, posing to be Sarah, agrees and Hugo offers to join as well as her husband. Back in her quarters, Amelia makes dinner for Lewis. He tells her she hasn't changed one bit. Amelia says he's still good at lying and that he better live up to his promise to bring back his granddaughter. In a flashback, we see Amelia telling Lewis that she's marrying someone else, making him drop a plate. Suddenly Lewis isn't hungry anymore and wants to leave. It is evident that the two used to be lovers. Outside, Alex offers the minister to drive him home and Lewis gladly accepts. After they take off, the block chief, Begona informs Amelia that her daughter is taken to the station. Worried, Amelia immediately hurries on her bike. The scene shifts to the station and the officers ask her about her sister. Posing to be Sarah, she denies Julia committed murder and that she knows nothing. The major then shows her items that belong to Carlos. At this time, she remembers being in bed with him and she is slightly dazed. He then shows her his ashes Carlos is not dead so it's evidently mind games to try to get the truth out of Julia. However, the brave Julia somehow manages to pull an act and keep it together. Meanwhile, when Alex arrives at the residence, Lewis offers to get him a pass. Alex shockingly learns that Daniela is the minister's daughter as he sees her there. She asks Alex what he's doing here and tells him not to say anything about her involvement with the Sector 2 people. Alex assures her, saying she doesn't have to worry about it. The episode ends on a cliffhanger when late at night, Alma and her son Ivan drive up to a remote location. They visit the children in the van, which is parked in the middle of the deserted place. The pair then take Marta away. Subscribe to see more videos like this, turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel out.
Thanks for watching.